understand. Everything. I understand. Very, um, that's, so that's the woman's way. It is, isn't it? Yep. We do everything. We, we got the kids. Yep. We got the work. Yep. Make it all happen. The birthday presents. Oh. <laughs> it's my, although it's my husband's birthday today, they're oh. all here. They're on the floor. They're like having panels, having a great time. But yeah. uh, that was his gift. I was like, literally, because we we've been shooting nights, and so we wrapped on oh, Tuesday. Man. You know, came directly here. I was like, you know what you get for your birthday? A trip to Comic Con. <laughs> well, it's yeah. better than a kick in the head. That's true. And it's pretty fun. Yeah, or or the middle finger. Yeah, to always better than that. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. No. When you've been married for a long time, you yeah. know, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. He'll get some pie. I'll make him a pie in August. <laughs> That's good. Stay about. <laughs> yeah. Um, so filming nights for this show. Yeah, I mean, you know, yes. we got very lucky. I mean, last year we did a lot more. Of course, of course, it's a show with aliens sort right. of, and abductions. And sense. apparently they don't abduct people during the day. They only abduct them. Right. It's more interesting. It's very um, convenient. And, it, and it's a huge <laughs> cast, so our days are big. Like, they're, they're, it's not, you know, a small office workplace comedy. It's 12 people. So often we're, we're in a much longer than a 12 hour day which right. is, just makes it a long so you start to work at nights by the end but it wasn't too bad it was just like the last week and a half you do turn into sort of a weird like vampire but yeah if you met someone who believed in aliens would you accept that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, I think sort of the sadness of the show is like, it's really not that far out an idea. If you really give, I mean, think about all the movies. And, yeah. Are they reptilians and grays and whites? I don't know. Are they, you know, are they little green men and Martians? Who knows? But um, it is funny because the distance between being able to say, there probably is life out there. And yeah, no, I've been abducted. It's like the vast <laughs> distance between normal and crazy to, yeah. to most people's perception. So I think for the show, that's sort of what that support group comes out of, right? Is the idea that um, they've been really sort of ostracized from real life by this incredibly traumatic experience that they've had. And there are not a lot of people they can talk about it with. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people can, can appreciate that not necessarily being abducted. No, but, but the being, sense of being a complete alien in their life. Right. <laughs> yes. Or like feeling like something's happened to them yes. that no one else can understand. Yes. And nobody else believes. Yes. Because that happens to everybody. It's That's very relatable. And, but, and I think it's really, I mean, not to get all like intellectual and, you know, okay. lit crit about it, but <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's, we are an alienated culture right now and, and systems of belief are radically different. We're yeah. dealing culturally, in a, we're at a time where one person's system of belief is completely different than the next. And, and it is interesting as this character, because I find that I have to kind of like, the, the concept of my little support group is that everyone was abducted. And yet within that, everyone's reality is completely different. So I have to like have this cognitive dissonance all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, kind of like a little metaphor for how we're living in life. I mean, living, living in modern America, certainly. It's just our politics are far apart. Our religious beliefs are far apart. You know, we have to kind of find middle ground on all that. And the fact of the matter is, I think if people would sit down and talk for a minute, maybe they would see that there's a lot more in common yeah. with each other yeah. and a lot of really positive things that yeah. we just get like yeah. so in our heads about one. I think it's just kind of that anonymous online culture that's it's depressing. I know. Because people wouldn't say the things they say in person a lot of times that they would no. say online. No, in fact, as a parent of teenagers, yeah. I mean, it's like oh, the conversation, the all you're ever repeating to them and, yeah. and, and having to check yourself all the time, yeah. right? And say like, don't read the comments, right? Don't, you know, and, and don't write it if you yeah. wouldn't be willing to say it to somebody's face, you know? Yeah. Don't film people doing crazy stuff and then make fun of them. None of that. None of that. None of that. Exactly. <laughs> Therapy lesson. Yeah. Um, what can we look forward to this season? Is there anything you can tease? Well, um, it's what I love about the show, again, it's incredibly for comedy, for a half hour comedy, certainly the type that I've worked on. Um, it's very much a, a plot heavy, um, not action packed storyline. So right. there's, there are plot twists and turns. It's compact. It's a privilege of being on a 10 episode arc as opposed to a 22 episode arc or longer. Right. And um, we have, we have mysteries unfolding and mysteries being solved and abductions <laughs> happening and, yeah. you know returns and so it's, it's a very I can't tease anything beyond well, I know that, but, but but yeah but we do it's not a bunch of like sort of boring you know date yeah. scenes no it's not and I think <laughs> TBS has really like turned up their scripted comedy yeah it's been an, I mean they really and a lot of freedom in it it feels like and tight writing really tight writing super supportive network they're interested in it they're interested in creating something that's we're we, you know when people say dramedy or whatever right. like we, we we are a comedy but they are 
I haven't worked on a show before where they're that interested in um, some of the alien questioning and some of the larger like like plot twists and turns right. and metaphorical questions. But then they're also you can sit with a really sad moment on our show yeah. in a way that you can't on a lot of comedies. They're not forcing you to like land it right away, right. you know. So there is it's un it, it was an adjustment for me certainly um, to not be like landing and punching yeah. every joke, you know. Yeah, all the time in like that. Yeah, I mean, it's an incredibly funny cast, but we are allowed to sort of breathe in it. And so we have a great, we actually probably laugh more off camera in some ways, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to thank me. Thank you for talking to me. That's awesome. Thanks.